Thanks for staying with us at STL TV Live. I'm Vern Fuller, joined by Executive Director of Missouri Cures, Dina Ladd. Dina, we were just getting going. We had to take a break. Mm -hmm. So let us continue. So I was telling you a little bit about the Cancer Research Symposium, mm -hmm. which will be held this Friday, May 1st, at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center at 975 North Warson. This is uh, from 9.30, I'm, from, I'm sorry, from 9 to 11.30 a.m. So it's a free event, open to the public. All we ask is that you register, and you can do that by calling 993-1900 or going to our website, missouricures.org. And what can we expect to see at this symposium? You're going to see some amazing people speak. We've got okay. some great researchers speaking. Um, we have Dr. Chilafu from Washington University. And he led the team um, of researchers who discovered or who really created the cancer goggles. And these are goggles that are used during surgery and the cancer lights up. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Now we all know someone, we all know someone who has uh, passed away due to cancer, mm -hmm. is currently fighting cancer. Who would you recommend come out and attend the symposium? I think you hit on some really good points. I think that if uh, that disease runs in your family, you know, you might want to hear the exciting research taking place in that field. Um, certainly there are people that are just very curious and mm -hmm. love to learn because the researchers do really focus it towards the lay audience, I would say, um, so that you can understand what they're speaking of. Um, we'll have plenty of time for Q&A to ask the researchers questions. Okay. So a lot of interaction, hopefully get your questions answered. So we'd love to have everyone come out on Friday. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, what else can we do to further help you promote this event? Um, just spread the word. Um, I, I'll, I'll tweet. I'll, I'll tweet that I was here. You could retweet that. And, um, and certainly everyone could go to our website, missouricures.org. Um, also on the website, we have a lot of interesting information, disease-specific. We have information on clinical trials and also other events that we have you know, coming up. So, and um, we also talk specifically about the researchers who will be there on Friday. Um, as I said, we've got Dr. Curiel and, and Dr. Henry speaking about the viruses, and Dr. Kim Bland from Stowers, she will be speaking about bacterial cancer therapy. So they're taking bacteria and putting it into cancerous tumors, which eats the cancer. So another really cutting edge, right. you know, um, right. It's like science fiction. It's like science fiction. It is. Yeah. Now let me go back to the, the shared information between the human medical cancer research and the veterinary shared research mm -hmm. as it applies to dogs, cats, or other animals. Yes. Mm -hmm. dogs How's that and cats. happening? Well, actually, uh, Dr. Curiel is going to explain that a little bit, you know, further in your show. Okay. But um, so he's really the expert. But it, it is quite amazing that they can take these viruses that they're using on humans and use it on dogs and cats. And I'm a huge dog lover. And as dog lovers know, as our pets get older, you know, many canines develop cancer in their older age. Sure. So it's, it's so exciting and promising. Yeah. Is well, it any cheaper to treat a pet than it is a human being? Again, Dr. Curiel could answer that for you, but I would say, um, I would say, I would say it was a little bit cheaper. Because you came today with the young lady who's having her cat undergo chemotherapy. Yes, I did. Right? Yeah, she is, and she's having her um, her cat treated at um, the University of Missouri Vet School, which they have an outstanding vet school, one of the best in the country. That's amazing. So that's another thing I'm excited about. So we have Washington University, we have the Stowers Institute for Medical Research out of Kansas City, who also does a lot of focus on cancer research, and then we have University of Missouri, the vet school. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. So a lot of good researchers from around the state. Dina, thanks so much for coming and joining us today and sharing all this wonderful information. Thank you for having me. Okay, to learn more about Missouri Cures Foundation, Education Foundation, their events and news on medical advancements, visit them online at missouricures.org. Stay tuned to STL TV Live. We'll be right back after this.